Hi everybody, welcome to my studio and welcome back to art class. So I'm here to get you excited about our first project and I thought we would continue with what we started, which was um, collage. So I'm gonna show you what your assignment this week is just to collect materials and I'm going to show you some examples of things that you might need. Um, you definitely need scissors, but not these. I don't have any children's scissors. So you want to get scissors that you can use. Um, hopefully you have some kind of glue. Um, this is my only glue stick and it still works. This glue is old and dried out, so I can't use that. But maybe you have some glue you can use at home. Um, and then you're going to go around your house and find stuff that we could use to make a picture um, with paper, the way we did, we started in school. Um, you're not gonna use pencils or crayons or anything like that, we're just gonna use paper and our hands. And some of the things um, that I collected are pieces of cardboard that might be good to make our picture on. So if you can find some heavy paper, construction paper, a manila folder or cardboard that we could use to glue things onto. That would be great. And for our pictures, you can find old things from the recycling, old cards that maybe your mom or dad, my husband, was going to recycle. But ooh, what great colors, right? So I want to use this card. Maybe a candy wrapper. Maybe old post-its have really great colors. Um, sometimes lined paper, yellow paper, old scraps of paper can be fun. And maybe your parents have some magazines laying around that have interesting pictures or colors, photographs that have colors inside or on the back. There's some nice blue here. Or a newspaper that might have pictures or text or nice shapes that we could cut up and be nice for gray. Um, and even one thing I found was some old artwork I have in a box here that I was going to recycle. And this was part of an example for a lesson that I gave in school. But wow, there's some great pink here and I bet I might be able to cut out some fun shapes from this. And another piece of artwork I have is this one that was just, I was testing some stuff out. And I also found some really cute boxes. And I thought, wow, there are some cool pieces here that I could cut up and with scissors and maybe be able to use these ridges. This might be fun. I can cut these and flatten them and it might be a fun piece for collage. So look around your house, put everything in a box, and we'll come back to this next week and I will have some examples of what we could do with it. To help give you ideas, I'm also attaching a video at the end of my slides and it is from the Metropolitan Museum and it might give you some ideas for to start thinking about for what kind of paper to collect for what kind of project you're going to do. And it's just going to be fun. We're just going to be having a really good time pasting and playing with shapes and colors. So look for pieces of paper and things that might be fun to cut up and use. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you bring back um, when we meet in our Zoom classroom next time. Um, just bring your materials and uh, we'll take it from there. Um, I look forward to seeing you on Zoom and look through the rest of the slides and all my instructions are there in the little video at the end. Bye.